is Luis, now from Home Tech Laser. We're here in a showroom located in Southern California. And in this video, we'll be going over how to replace your laser tube. For this job, you would need 440 electrical tape, wire strippers, and an Allen wrench. Uh, you would just need to check your sizing for your specific uh, laser mount stands. So the first step would be to make sure that your machine is turned off. You need to make sure that you have your power cable unplugged from the power source at least 30 minutes before you remove the laser tube. This will remove any shock hazard. The next step would be to empty out your laser tube. You can either use your water pump or your water chiller. Just disconnect the inlet connection to either one and put it on a separate bucket and just allow the, the water to evacuate from the laser tube. After you have emptied out your laser tube, you would then have to disconnect the outlet water hose and the inlet water hose. After that, you would then disconnect your black grounding cables and your red power cables. After you have disconnected both your grounding and your power cables, you would then have to unscrew the securing mounts and remove them from the laser tube. Before you remove the securing mounts from the laser tube, you need to measure the distance between the tip of the laser tube and the frame of mirror number one. Now, ideally, you would want to have this distance at around half an inch to three quarters of an inch. This could cause major misalignment issues. Before you remove your laser tube, you need to make sure you have the appropriate box to place it in. Once you remove it, you can use the top cover lid of your new replacement tube box. Another thing that you want to make sure is to have both of the side panels unscrewed and half, halfway removed. That way, you can allow the laser tube to move either way. Before you remove your laser tube, you want to make sure that you're able to rotate it a little. Sometimes the laser tube can get stuck to the rubber padding under it. Ideally, you would want to move the laser tube, pick it up, move it a little bit to the left and raise it on the right side and slowly go up, lift it up and remove it from the stands. 